So I'm about to take a Waymo, which is a driverless Uber. It could be the start of something really big or the stupidest decision I've ever made. Okay, so I just downloaded the app. It's about a three mile ride and it's gonna cost me eight bucks and the driver's gonna be here in about five minutes. So what's the fascination with this? I love businesses where you can automate the entire thing, kind of like my Airbnb business. And I love where AI is going. Now, a lot of people say AI is getting rid of jobs. I view it as the opposite. I view it as what can AI do to make our lives easier? Three minutes away, I'm kind of nervous. So it told me to come to this corner. My Airbnb is just a few steps away. So I think this is a little bit more public. Might be easier for it to pick me up. Two minutes away now, just got a notification. Pretty cool. You kind of get a glimpse of where the car is. So it should be here in one minute. And I think that's it right over there. Check this out. Woo. All right, it is a Jaguar. And I don't know how I'm supposed to open the door here. Let me see. So it says unlock. So I'm going to go ahead and go around here and do some crazy stuff. So let's unlock. I'm going to go in the back. Oh, shit. Hello, Alex. Hello, Alex. Wow. Oh, this is crazy. All right, let's do it. Start ride. Hello from Waymo. Oh my gosh. Yes. You have to buckle up. Buckle up. Okay. So it's beeping at me to buckle up, which I'm going to do. Wow. No driver. A um, little nervous here because there's no driver. It is conservative and it drives a little slow. Uh, you could sit in the front or the back, I decided to sit in the back. The car is really cool. Um, drop off in 12 minutes. I think I can play music right here. Um, and I think it scans it on my phone. Uh, I could pull over, call support, or there's a menu button. I think I could, I could probably adjust the thermostat right there. It stopped at the light. I think there's microphones and cameras here. So I think that's a camera right there and a camera right there to just, I guess, document everything. It tells me that my ride will be there at 7.31. Now, the one thing is uh, this is open like 24 hours. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat and then uh, take the uh, Waymo back home. Such a cool experience. Uh, pretty comfortable leather seats. I guess we could have put luggage in the back if we needed to. Okay, there's a car like cutting us off right there. Waymo recognize it and slow down. Wow, okay. So it, recognize, it recognizes obstacles. It must know right here. Let's see if there's other cars that come. Yeah, so it recognized that there was a car right next to us. Now what's interesting is initially I was nervous, but that goes away like within the first minute or two. And you kind of just get relaxed with it because you realize that it's pretty safe. Looks like you can charge your phone if you need to. See, look at that. It notices all of the cars, those blue uh, dots or blue boxes. Now, the one thing is I read that if it sees another Waymo, it's supposed to honk at each other and acknowledge each other. So hopefully we get to have that experience. So is artificial intelligence just taking over job? I don't think so. It's gonna make life for humans a lot easier and uh, it's gonna eliminate a lot of the tasks that are meaningless and we could focus on other activities and tasks that are a lot more productive. The one thing I'm wondering is if there's an actual human like in a third world country that overrides everything on a joystick, I don't know. Or is it just using AI to um, you know, drive everything? I think it's using AI to just drive everything. Now is Elon Musk correct when he says that AI will pretty much automate all driving really soon here? I think so, I mean, this feels really safe. I don't think he's that far off and AI has been expanding and growing so fast. Now, what's the etiquette with these things? Do you tip? I don't know. Gives you some directions, because uh, we're arriving on our destination here soon. Just drop me off, they drop me off in the parking lot and I'm here at my restaurant. Okay, so I just got back from my ride back and forth. Thoughts on riding a Waymo? Really cool experience. I think that the Waymo is only in like three or four cities out there. Um, Northern California, Phoenix, I'm not sure what the other ones. But if you're in any of those cities, I would highly recommend it. When I was on the app, it never asked how many passengers. So I probably could have had two or three people and it wouldn't make a difference. 
because it gives you the cost right then and there. Little freaked out initially because you have no control, right? But surprisingly, you get comfortable right away. Now the question is, will this work in any city? Now I'm in Phoenix and it was 110 degrees out and I didn't see anyone walking around. Not saying that people don't walk around here, uh, but that's my biggest concern. Like, will the AI adjust to humans? Because humans do stupid things. There are certain things you can't predict. Some humans are gonna run through a red light. How is it gonna predict that? Some humans aren't gonna cross at certain crosswalks. I live in LA and it's a madhouse, but do I think it's here to stay? Absolutely. To be honest with you, in five years, I wouldn't be surprised if these things are in half of our cities. And the one thing I'm wondering is, can I just use this every day and not purchase a car? To be honest with you, if I lived in an urban city, I wouldn't mind just using one of these back and forth. Having a car could be a pain in the ass. Number one, the interest rates can be sky high, especially if you have awful credit. Number two, if you have a bad driving record, your insurance could be through the roof. And number three, can this improve efficiency out there? The more self-driving cars you have out there, maybe the AI figures out traffic better than humans can. Or can you just put your kids in a Waymo and just have it self-drive them back and forth to school or different activities? And the maintenance with the car is a pain in the ass. Even if you have a car paid off free and clear, you have the tires every so often, oil changes, filters, minor and major maintenance. You don't have to spend time filling up a car. Or if it's an electric car, you don't have to spend time recharging it. Anyway, that's my experience riding in a driverless car. I thought it was cool and awesome and I'd highly recommend and I'm planning to do it again anytime I'm in one of those cities that provide these. Let me know in the comments, would you write in one of these? Quickly, is that these aren't no So one can be forgiven for not being able to distinguish fact from fiction. Take this car, for example. Can it drive autonomously or not? The short answer is absolutely. That was Shweta Srivastava. Senior Product Lead for Driving Behavior at Waymo. What you're looking at is the fit for a variety of vehicle platforms that is the most advanced fully autonomous. What you notice pretty quickly is that these aren't normal vehicles. Take this Jaguar I-Pace, for example. It's been equipped with an elegant array of sensors and software. That's correct. The Waymo driver is a combination of custom design, hardware and software that is responsible for performing the entire act of driving. That was James Philbin. He's an engineering lead on the perception team at Waymo. The Waymo driver handles the task of driving in three basic steps. Sense, solve, and go. It's the way we describe the highly complex process of acquiring information, processing it, and moving through the world safely. The sensors that the Waymo driver uses are incredibly powerful, using a combination of LiDAR, cameras, and radar. It can see up to three football fields in any direction and can detect sirens from emergency vehicles.